Hey everybody, it's your boy Matthew Patrick from The Matthew Patrick Show and today we will be doing another unboxing and review. This time it's not a chino, this time it's not a t-shirt or a polo shirt, it is a pair of boots and these are by Thursday Boot Co and these are what they call the Vanguards and they are their made in America line of boots leather boots and so I'm gonna crack that open but before I do that I want to show y'all really quickly these new sneakers I got I've been wearing them for about a week now but I think they still look pretty fresh these are called hold on let me allow me to grab the box these are called whoop the Air Max Dons they come in the color wave particle gray according to nike i don't know dark citron yeah my i wear an 11 us size and so you got it, they came in these pretty cool box i don't know if you can see that it just says move to zero is nike's journey towards zero carbon and zero waste to help pr protect the future of sport um, so I'm definitely behind that program that they're doing, the Move to Zero program, because I'm definitely very conscientious about the environment and whatnot. And on the side here, it has another little paragraph that says, this product is made with at least 20% recycled content by weight, which reduces waste and our carbon footprint. So, um, good for the environment. Also, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I think these look pretty sick. I've never had, air, like, what are they called? Maxes, Max Dawn. Air, I've never had Air Maxes before. It's my first pair of Air Maxes. So, as you can see, there's the tread. And uh, here's the tongue. Kind of has, like, a nice retro look to them, you know? So, I appreciate that. And these are my school colors. Go, go Chargers. Also, the school I'll be going next year, U2C, go Mox. So, I'm really liking these. It's, it's got this weird, like, you know, little air pocket, whatever. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's just a gimmick or if that actually does something. But they are very plush to walk on. Kind of heavy, though. Heavier than my old sneakers, which were like Tommy Hilfiger's. Anyway. So, besides that, now time for the boots. So... I got my handy dandy scissors here. Better not run with them or I might hurt myself. But, so here's the the cardboard box it came in. As you can see, thursdayboot.com. I'm gonna crack this bad boy open and we'll see what it looks like. My last pair of Thursday boots were Chucka boots. And I those are a size 11. I got those a year ago. And they're honestly a little loose in the heel, especially. However, that was, they, on the website, they recommend sizing down, half a size down from what you normally wear in sneakers when you're buying boots from them. So that's probably why. And so when I first got these Vanguards, these American made Vanguards, they were also, uh, I also got them in 11s like I did the last ones and when I got them they came in once again they were a little loose in the heel and so I realized you know what now maybe I should just take this opportunity to actually get the size that they recommend which is a 10 and a half and so so I did I returned them and got these and when I ordered them online it was like one left only one left in stock so I was like I was like I was like spamming that to get it you know before and so as you can see they got another little paragraph here it says handcrafted with integrity for wherever the day takes you okay so and another one on the bottom that says welcome to team Thursday we hope you enjoy so they got a little story behind why they named their company Thursday Boot Co. Um, I can't quite remember what it was, but 
I'll leave that to you to look it up. I mean, these things get sponsored like 24-7 on all the men's fashion channels like The Modest Man and what that, whatnot. So let's just crack these bad boys open, get these out of box. Obviously, we got another box. This one looks pretty nice. I like it. Looks pretty classic. Also cardboard, though. Yeah, and the color wave, they call these French Rose Vanguard, which I thought was the best color. There's also, like, black and, like, I don't know, ox blood. But I much prefer prefer French Roast. And like I said, these are called the Vanguards. Uh, this company started a few years ago, like maybe five or six years ago. They started with the Captain, but then they slowly progressed to add more line more lines and like different styles of shoes in fact I'll show you my chuckle boots really quickly okay so here we have my chuckle boots in I've had these for about a year or so a little a little over a year i think i bought them in january of 2021 these are in these are suede chukka boots size 11 they are the color wave is dark olive so pretty they almost look brown but they're actually dark olive which is almost green but it's like not a weird vibrant green which i would not wear so these these are pretty nice and shout out to the modest man he would recommend these as the best most versatile color which i mean he also recommends all of chinos as the most versatile chino color so i don't know maybe he's just biased towards all of i don't know which i mean i don't mind so let's uh crack these vanguards open made in america um apparently these got this is made out of like a really fine leather, sort of like Chrome XL or something. I don't know. I'll pull up the specs from their website in a second, but right now we gotta crack these bad boys open. All right, so here, see these got this really nice plastic wrapping to keep them safe, which I appreciate. Ooh, got a little tag. Got a little tag here and sign that says, Thursday established New York City 2014 okay Thursday products are handcrafted in small batches using only the highest quality materials natural color and texture variation will occur so they're unique each each pair you know could be unique to you because they're handcrafted this is what makes the materials we use and the products we design both distinct and beautiful they are beautiful Quality guaranteed by someone's initials O L W or J W. I don't understand cursive that well. So shout out to O L W. Can't speak O L W. Shout out to that dude. It's got like the little Thursday thing, you know, like imprinted, like three. I. Right. So here's the second one also wrapped in plastic so i'm gonna crack one of these bad boys out of the plastic wrapping try them on and we'll see if they fit because that would kind of suck if i just did this review and they didn't actually fit all right folks now before i put these bad boys on i just had to take a second to show y'all what they look like out of the plastic wrapping in some good lighting and one don't why don't you check that out Ooh, baby yeah that is crisp look at that nice brown color french roast baby yes sir check out the bottom got another logo thursday thursday boot co uh-huh as you can see they got the goodyear welting you gotta have that to be a high quality boot you gotta have the goodyear welting check out this i don't even know what you even freaking call that but i love it it's like an extra piece of leather right here. It's like stitched. Oh, hit the camera. It's like stitched across to this other piece of leather. And then you got the upper. It's pretty sweet. The way it's stitched in there. 
Here's the back. Here's the heel. Mm, I love this, this like wood or whatever. I don't even know what you call that. It's got the rubber sole. It's really nice. Feels durable. Like I could feel like I could go through war with these boots on, and I could take them home and show them to my grandkids and be like, "That's that's when I killed all those 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 Russians over in Ukraine." <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen, but I mean. Vladimir Putin's getting pretty crazy over there, so might be might be on on the verge. <laughs> as you can see, you got leather laces as well, or like something suede, I don't know. But those are pretty sweet too. I feel like they're gonna be a pain to deal with, like tying the shoe actually, but I mean they're pretty sweet anyway. Here's the tongue. Mm, I just love like putting my hands all over this leather. Mm, just love putting my hands all over it and feeling it up, you know. And uh, I like how the like the stitching like contrast like it's light and it contrasts with everything else. It's pretty sweet. Here's the inside, another logo. Now I can already tell you that's gonna get worn out faster than you can say. Well, actually no. Let's check. Let's see how fast that logo will get worn out. Had these for a year and yeah, they're it's like non-existent. You can like barely see where the logo used to be and like I said these were made in the USA most of their other boots are made in Mexico like these are made in Mexico so it's pretty epic but you pay extra for it these were running me about 265 and so yeah but if you love American products yeah. you love American manufacturing and you love that like heritage mm. then sometimes you got to pay the price and I was willing to so yeah I'm gonna put these on and do a little do a little showcase little fashion like fashion run runway thing I don't know I don't know we'll see what's up guys so I just want to check in real quick and say that while I was editing and rewatching this video I realized that when I made that joke about Vladimir Putin, I kind of said something like, I feel like I could take these boots out and, you know, tell my grandkids I remember when I was killing Russians in Ukraine or something like that. So I just want to make sure that my words aren't taken out of context and that uh, I have nothing against the Russian people. Much love to the Russian people. Y'all have a crazy leader and I hope y'all get rid of him. But that's nothing against y'all. Uh, and send my love to the Ukrainians as well so just want to make sure i don't get canceled and that y'all understand i'm not insensitive in any way and that i have nothing against anybody and all the strife they're facing in that part of the world so that being said now time for the montage I think. 